Hello, today I'm going to share with you some details about the hand-operated winch I use for hauling heavy items in my small trailer. If you've been following my channel or my blog for any amount of time, then you know that I, I do not prefer pickup trucks and I will haul anything and everything I need in this small utility trailer behind me. It's a three and a half by five. I won't go into a lot of details on it, but its capacity is 2,000 pounds. My car is capable of pulling 1,500 pounds without brakes, so I do not exceed the 1,500 pound load. Usually, I'm around 1,000 pounds, often 500. So usually it's that one thing that I don't want to put in the car. I, I work alone a lot and I don't want to risk damaging the rear bumper on the car. And so I use this trailer for just about everything that isn't just some small little thing that I can pick up and put in the car. When I haul heavy loads in this trailer, it's almost always a bunch of small things that I can pick up by hand and, and put them in. And then of course the weight accumulates. But on rare occasions, I do need to haul something heavier and uh, one particular occasion was when I was hauling uh, a roller tool cabinet. When it's empty, it weighs around 300 pounds, and I, I can manage that on my own, but it's a whole lot better to just be able to load it slowly in a controlled fashion, and this winch is perfect for that, and especially when the thing was loaded, because loaded, I think it weighs closer to 700 pounds. And so this winch has a 2,000 pound capacity, and of course, who wants to use a hand crank? It would just take forever, to use this 25 feet of uh, strap if that's what you need to use. So uh, I bust out the power drill and go to town with that. It's a cordless drill so I can use it anywhere. And uh, it's like having a powered winch. It's been fantastic. When I loaded the, uh, the roller tool cabinet, there's always that chance that the load can get away from you when uh, offloading especially and it's going down the ramp. And this here, it's just like having a brake it just controls the load going in and out and I like that it slows everything down now it's also probably good for uh, I think most of the, this thing is probably marketed for uh, boat trailers and things like that maybe a farm trailer with a um, a riding lawnmower or maybe a side-by-side -side work vehicle of some sort that weighs less than 2,000 pounds uh, obviously something that large is not going to fit into this little thing but if you've got a 5x8 utility trailer uh, this is perfect for that. I used to have this winch mounted inside the trailer because I thought that's where it needed to be to protect it from the elements. But then I found myself moving some dirt and things like that. And, and next thing you know, I've got dirt all over this winch. And it was taking up cargo space that I needed for other things. And so I moved it to the outside of the trailer. And I got this, uh, this roller here. I know it's kind of noisy. Um, it's marketed as something that goes on a boat trailer so that the whole of the boat will ride up against it and rest and I made sure I got a, a kind of a wide one here and basically all that's for is to go up and over the edge of the trailer it acts as a as a pulley and it's been perfect for that and I used that the last time I loaded and unloaded the um, the tool chest and I have no complaints I will share the details of this winch below it's brand name because right now i can't think of it this isn't the kind of item that i would say oh yeah i have a blah 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 winch <laughs> i just i just don't remember this kind of stuff for something so small but it's been great and i suppose anything similar would work for you but this one here the, the notes i would say about it is it is a uh, i'm going to call it a top mount because this winch is actually intended to be mounted this way down on the floor and I did not do that. I wanted the uh, the crank to crank this way so that it would not interfere with the trailer and a lot of them you know if they don't have that 90 degree offset then you know obviously it would crash into the trailer and I didn't need that. I needed the uh, perpendicular um, access if you will so this has a worm gear in it to convert everything 90 degrees so then it turns this way and rotates that way. I don't, it's all that physics crap right? I'm rambling. Uh, this video is supposed to be short and I think it still is. Feel free to post any questions if you have them. I'll be glad to answer. Thanks for being here and yeah, I just want to do a short video to share about this winch. Thanks a lot. Take care.